Triple Magic Compass. Nature is amazing. Triple Getty. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Snowdrop Porter. <laughs> oh, no way. I'm sorry. Alyssa Decoy. It's disgusting. It's disgusting! It's broken. It's broken! It's Armageddon. Novice mistake. Hello, welcome back to my professional gameplay series. I've got a real pile for you today. Calling this one Armageddon. We're abusing Magic Compass as much as possible. We're going to try to play it three times with zero cards in our deck to spawn up three Gettinies. So, as long as you don't have a copy of whatever legendary card in your deck and you have less than three cards in your deck, you can play any card that's not in your deck through Magic Compass. It's an Echo card, so... Theoretically, it you should be able to play it twice in a game. We're going to try to do that three times in a round. We don't want to play it twice because then it's, it gains the Doom Tag. As soon as it hits your graveyard, it's done for. So basically, we want to combo Troll Porter and Snowdrop early in round one or two if we have to. Thinning our deck drastically. Uh, we've also got Crow Messengers and Roach to help with that. Burna can sometimes help out a little bit, but she's more of a, a hindrance than anything. Then once we get down to less than three cards, we or we can have three cards as long as we have a tutor, because then it won't count as three anymore, uh, we start spamming out magic compasses in round three, using Alyssa and Decoy to keep recycling it into our deck. And yeah, it's a, it's a really bad idea. <laughs> uh, it works really good in the dual casting seasonal event, which is where I came up with the idea, and I've got a bonus video at the end showing off what this thing is fully capable of. I tried to retrofit it to go into standard gameplay. Uh, the idea is there. It needs a lot of refinement, and I've put almost a week into it, and it's, it's, it is what it is. Uh, do with it as you will. I hope you all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and get to the video. All right, first game against Fruits of Yizgut. This could be anything. It could be Relics, Thrive. Uh... Gurney spam. Oh boy. His hand's looking a little too good here. Alright. And Roach in hand isn't fantastic. I have a troll board in hand, it's actually pretty good. We like that. Um Man. Huh. So, we have Mushy and a Preacher, which are kind of combo pieces. We want to try to save those. We could get rid of Roach if we had to. Uh, we can also just play this round out and shoot for the Snowdrop Porter thing next round. We're just going to have to see what we can do here. If we get Burna, we could discard a preacher and use a Freya to get it out later. Operator into Griffin. Wow. That's a new one. Uh, go ahead and play Maxi. She's not going to be good later. Top decks are Preacher and Golden Froth, which is pretty good. I think we'll keep it. I'd like to get Burna in hand, but I don't see a good way of doing that. Um, yeah, Burna could cause a problem later with discarding things that we don't want discarded. She's mostly in here to place things in the graveyard that we want access to later, such as 
a preacher. If she was one card up, that'd be a preacher to dive. Nice. If she was one card up, that would be more beneficial to us. But she's not. Uh, she's also a pretty good banishment fodder for um, Porter. My man goes Strategium. No idea what for. And. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and get Snowdrop out. We might as well go for it. We can shuffle back Mushy and a Preacher. And be good for later. We're going to have to sacrifice Roach. Possibly Ring. He's got another predatory dive. I'm kind of sad. But it is what it is. But this may be our best shot. Our deck should be looking pretty good. After we clean all this mess up. It's going leader. So it's either another griffin. It's a griffin. Okay. I was about to say another predatory dive. Which would have been pretty not okay. Ring is a consideration. And we take it. So now he can't predatory dive us. Well, he can't predatory dive Snowdrop anyway. He can still get that nine point ribbon. He's also got a ring. Fantastic. Love to see it. So we might as well go troll now. Get us some nice juicy points. There's Berna. Now we could. Crows is pretty huge, actually. Play out the crows. We can burn a. Wow! <laughs> yeah, I was looking at these crows out, huh? That's uh, that's a scorch right there, is what that is. We got nothing but good stuff left in here. I don't really want to discard any of that. My dude has passed. Is there a way I can make up 11 points? Go Berna, get rid of a Preacher, and Priest, yeah. Alright, now we need four more. Might as well go Leader. Might as well go Leader. Need five more, actually. Leader just gets us there. Boom. Alright. Now, we did play Oniromancy, so we've actually got six cards left. So I think we just pass. Do we? If we get Rune Mage, we play that out. Get some cards away from him. Rune Mage, Mata, Take a mole. See if we can pull in a Rune Mage. We could also put Hero for him. Or Mata for him. Ah, we'll leave it as is. Go ahead and take our dry pass. We can actually synergize quite well with Rune Mage into our debauchery. So we all have, we'll have zero cards in deck, which is optimal. It's actually perfect. We've got three tutors. Which isn't necessary because we have compass in hand and we can only play it three times we can go compass from hand we can go Alyssa main we can go decoy Alyssa so that's only three we could lippy that would cost us a getty neath we'd also put 11 cards in our deck which isn't Helpful. Might just have a brick tutor. I think we're just gonna have to deal with a brick tutor. My dude goes Mamuna. And the Griffin. Setting up some Sabbath. As you do. Which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and play Magic Compass right away. See if he's got a heat wave. Heat wave check, anybody? Heat wavers? Any heat wavers. 
it's possible. Dive doesn't feel spectacular, but we've got uh, five. We've got four more uh, preachers where these came from, so you know that's that's good. Which apprentice? All right. The witch's best friend is a pig. No He's gonna doubt. be having some points over there. Go with Alyssa. Shuffle back. Love to see it. Uh, next move is probably going to be Mata or Lady of the Lake. I don't know. I don't know that I want to give him another card to play because he's got engines. It'll just end up giving him more points. We'll go ahead and go. Magic Compass. Could just play Matt as a six point body. Get another Getty out here. And put this one in melee. Doesn't really matter. The row space on the crows is a bit of an issue, especially since we got all these good cards out here. Now, why don't you banish stuff on me? You take the Preacher. Not take the Preacher. I took the Griffin. Oh. Oh, that's why we operated. Okay. Alright. Fair play, sir. Go ahead and decoy. Throw Alyssa back down. Boom. Drop this back. By Clara Larissa de Winter herself. And boom. There we go. So now we either Mata or we Onero. I'm leaning toward Onero. Because he's got two really good engines out there. It just gives him an extra four points. And I still have a dead card. Yeah. So if I had Nero, Matt is just points. That is not bad points. Six points, not bad, but you know how it is. Now there is a world that exists where we could go Lippy and play Magic Compass again, but it wouldn't have the same effect. It would just play something from our deck and move the other two to the graveyard. I'm more interested in having three Gettys. So that's what we're shooting for here. Get my third Getty out. No heat waves, which is pretty nice. Man is an arrogant creature. Now we are half this guy's score right now, which is a bit frightening. Not going to lie. But hey, what you got to do? So I think we'll go Rune Mage now. Beast? Rumage now, or do we go Mata now? Uh, yeah, let's go Mata now. Just to help out our our uh, row space situation. I think we're going to try to dump all the crows melee. Because they're only two points a shot, and I need space for two creatures. At least. That's a problem. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go ahead and rune mage it up. See if we can any synergies. Use the Skellige Restone. Nilfgaard isn't bad if you can get uh, some assimilate stuff. Options aren't fantastic. Little half brew is probably the most points. Because once we deal the damage with it, we can heal it up with all these... Um, with all these alchemy cards we're going to play. Probably the best synergy for us out of all three of those. Could have went Freya's too, but I already have a Freya, so... Make a lot of sense now, would it? I think the next move here is... Um, Mushy Truffle. Because I want that order to kick over. Then we'll probably do Freya's. And then we can go last alchemy guard. Should be pretty beneficial for us. There. Yeah, no. <laughs> go ahead and play the alchemy guard now. Next turn is going to be mushy trouble. I do want the healing value off of the hat for is why I decided to go the other way. Could have had more points doing it. Uh, doing it with uh, the thing 
first. Go ahead. Why don't you trouble it up? I do want this down. I'm also concerned about a Yurden. Is the other reason I last minute decided to do that. But I think the healing value on the half room here is going to be pretty alright. I think we'll play this ranged and dump all the crows melee so we have room for our final creature. Look at that healing value on the half fruit, very nice. And if this is a Yurden, I don't think it's going to hurt us too bad. He doesn't have the points, which is very interesting. We serve her who they decided is to take the pass. Go ahead and get the preacher out. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at the hatred. Look at so much hatred. Oh, my God. There was a time in this game where we were half his score. Now we're nearly double it. Look at this. Oh, my God. It's brutal. So we call a doctor for this man. He committed murder. Savage murder. Good game, sir. Good game. All right. Got a little bit of famous imprisonment action here. Love to see it. We don't have a lot of things that uh, we care about getting locked. So pretty good hand. Kickback, mushy. Uh, hmm. Roommate is pretty good points. We definitely don't want to listen. And having both crows is less than optimal. Um, oh, we don't have access to Snowdrop or Porter. Oh, okay. We can Mata for Oniromancy, but we're still missing the combo. Um, might just have to play this one out. Huh. Rough. I don't see a lot of points here. Come to think of it. We could only do Snowdrop or Porter. Yeah, we need to... Uh, Sand up a little bit. Man goes blight makers. Nice points. Go ahead and secure Neuromancy and get Roach out. So, two thinning for us. Not super bad. Still missing our first combo piece, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure out a way here. Thinking Rune Mage, probably. Yeah, let's go ahead. See if we can get something to synergize with our priest. Nice. Um, shoot or shove a scald? See if we draw into something good. Don't you pest Nah, we can discard a crow. Yeah, that that makes it good to play that from hand. Technically not thinning. I mean, we 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 just traded off one card for another, right? So we're not we thinned with the skull, but we're not going to be thinning with the crow. But we're we've unbricked the crow, so that's pretty good. It's pretty good for us. Um, we also have a second rune stone we could shoot our shot with. Let's go on DMT. Got a lot of points. A lot of points. He probably wants his round real bad. He might play Calvate next, maybe. We should probably try to bait out a lock. Uh, but the crows just seem like too good of a play right now. Let's go ahead and get the crow out. Ties us up on points, actually. It's pretty nice. Um, so this runestone could get something pretty spicy. We've also got the ring of favor to help out with our point situation. Uh, I think it's got to be runestone next, maybe. Depends on what gets played here. He goes defensive turning joust. Interesting. I think ring of favor just to get a hit on points. Um, 
he might also bring a favor, is the other thing. But now's the pivotal decision. Is my man going to play or pass? We're both at seven cards. He did have blue coin. So taking an L on even isn't super great for my man here. What's it going to be there, buddy? What's it going to be? My man's, uh, my man's a thinker he is. He's one of them, one of them deep thinkers. He decides to pass. Fantastic for us. We go and pass as well. And now, we just got to uh, draw all our stuff. So it makes it a little bit difficult. We've got our thin the snow drop's good to see. That's not particularly good. Now that we've got our thinning package out most of the way, uh, back. Yeah. Ooh. All right, we can put compass back with uh, snowdrop. It's gonna be hard to not hit good stuff because most of our thinning package is out now. So these are all kind of bad. Armor might be useful. Points might be useful. That's gonna get a lot for our use it though. Yeah, let's go ahead and shoot for the armor. Might not have been a bad idea to try to bait out a lock, but uh, I mean, if he locks this, we're just happy about it, right? We need to shoot for this combo as early as possible. Snowdrop's just getting locked straight away with a leader, right? Um, but we're going to have to try either way. We're basically in a free bleed situation here, as Master Fuchsia Bruce would say. So we might as well just shoot our shot with the snowdrop. We fix the sand up a little bit, toss the compass back. Oh, 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 that's interesting. Um, okay, we need to put back decoy and compass. And we need to play an Eromancy. We don't want that banished. Armor up snowdrop, it doesn't matter, but... Uh, yeah, no. This is going to cost us one thinning. Uh, actually, two thinning. Uh, one hero for a priest? No. And we don't want to do that because uh, we're going to get rid of both of our Freyas. Remember that up. I kind of wish that unlock alchemy card was in here, but it's not. So could just play truffle. It'll still be on the board for round three, and then we have our two no, creatures left in the deck. Creature. Eight cards remaining. Seven in hand. So if we play Porter now. We'll draw six cards, have three left on the deck. With a Neuromancy. We should have zero, right? Let's go ahead and unlock this. Give that some armor. See if he locks it again. We're pretty happy if he does. Uh, so now we'll have an extra card in deck, which isn't bad. Locks it again, which is fine. Let's go ahead and shoot our shot with Porter here. Um, so we're not drawing everything. Three cards left in deck. We'll draw those three. Just might as well use the armor here. We'll draw those three, and with a Nero, we'll have one left in deck. Maxi. Yeah, I didn't think about Maxi. I should have played Maxi with uh, Nero, actually. She's not going to be fantastic for us. Um... That's pretty good to get out. What is this That's really good to get out, actually. We're passing here. Yep. Maxi's not a lot of fun, but uh, you know, what can we do about it here? Uh, 
Let's see. So it's going to be a Nero. Uh, probably kick back the Ale. Or is that the Froth? That's the Froth. All right. We do that because when we decoy uh, Alyssa, we don't want to hit another unit. We only we only want Alyssa coming back out. So potentially we could have we could hit Maxi if we decoy, and that would lose us out on a whole third um, getting Eve. We do have last say, which is really nice, and we got leader, which is also really nice. Our man's going range grow defender. Fascinating. Get Maxi up. Might as well, you know. Give him something to waste some removal on that we don't really care about. Then we unveil our master plan. That's fantastic. Wow. All right. Go ahead and get our first copy. Get anything out? Oh, it's starting. Oh, it's starting now. Oh, we're starting stuff. And we just have a solid line all the way down. Alyssa. Nero. Alyssa off of decoy. Uh, locks are annoying. And Lady of the Lake. And then our two creatures, and we just win the game, right? Maybe. Magic compass. Put back in the deck. Boom, boom. Uh, I think we're gonna. I don't suspect my man of having Yurden here. I didn't get to see if that was a devotion usurper officer he played. If he wasn't a devotion, he should have won Huey by now, right? Uh, threat of masquerade ball with all of these. Uh, with all of these aristocrats. He's played a bunch of aristocrats so far. He's got to be getting low if it is ball, right? Uh, it's, he's, he's doing a lot of thinking over there. Doing a lot of thinking. What's my man thinking about? That's actually... Oh. Oh, that's a real problem there. Um, so if that's doomed, uh, that means I can't play her again, right? Ah, we might have just bricked a Nero and decoy. Uh, is that true? Does it put it back? It does put it back in the deck, right? So it's not like teleport. That's really bad. Yeah, he's going two of these. Yep, so that's bricked. Nice. Um, okay, so I think we just play out Nero for nothing. Oh, wait a minute. We, have, we do have that alchemy card left in there. Poisoning stuff. I don't want these to get too tall too fast. Yeah. With uh, third Getty out, we might actually have room to get all of our crows. It's going to be six crows. I think we got room for that. Your name, young man, the man Unless he starts clogging me. Oh, that's not great. Uh, he might have the servant lady that does servant lady things. Go ahead. Might as well get as much value as we can. I mean, those two are locked, so if he wants to poison them all, that's fine. Servant lady would suck. Uh, but it is what it is, huh? Does kill off that one. Does not lock that one yet. Interesting. So what do you got in, in hand, dear sir? He's got to have like two poisons left, right? Um. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. I see. 
Well, in that case, uh, we're going to save our last one for last say. We're not very far behind on points. What's my dude got here? My dude got something. He can kill off that four-point preacher, but uh, we're going to have an absurd amount of points coming in here. He's going to have something really big. We've got like We've got like 18 points of uh, Mardromes. A uh, Yennefer? Okay. Love to see it. Uh, what are those those Philip those Phillips doing for you there, huh? What are you doing with that, buddy? Are you doing something with that? Just locks it. Nice. Okay, yeah. Alright, well, uh. I'm not a math doer or anything, but I don't think uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, we're hurting too bad here. Yeah, and we still got leader. Yeah. Oh, and with that one on the board, we still get the bonded bonus. No. Oh, it's a marine, huh? Interesting. Uh, Ryogan, all right. That's uh, that's gonna be a bit of a deal. All right, don't want that. Don't want that. Oh my god. Okay. A lot of stuff here. I don't necessarily uh, get rid of. I I can fix this. I believe. Yeah, we go here. Need some garbage. Garbage? What am I cool with throwing away? Cool with throwing you away. Oh, did I not? <laughs> Alright, we're cool with uh, losing the golden froth. We'll throw back Melissa and go about our business. Favor is not going to be doing super hot here, but should be all right. We can save the preachers, which is pretty dope. I'd like to say what Frey is. I think I'll be fine. Okay. I was a bit concerned about something like that, but should be fine. Then we go troll porter and pass. Yeah, we could also play in a little bit here. Yeah, we could play uh Rune Mage. You play a Neuromancy too. Start thinning. Been nice to have that snow drop out, but it's all right. Melisine, huh? Kill that off, right? Nice. 
with an engine. Uh, let's see here. Could go Nero into Mata for some thinning. I like thinning. Maxie's pretty stinky now, but you know what are you gonna do? I don't really want to discard anything. Or I just win? What? That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. All right. I can't let that Ryogen do Ryogen things, so we got to go with our stuff now. I want to discard Maxi and a Preacher. Boom. Discard Maxi, Preacher, and we are set. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted to see. Maxi. Preacher. Boom. I got one preacher. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Should be cooking. Don't you pester me. <clears throat> Not the likes of overseas plunder. I've got to... I've got to do it this round. I can't let him get that Ryogen off. If I... If we do let him get it off... We've got to drain everything this round, so we got a shot next round. That's hilarious. Go here. Now, there is a chance we hit uh, <laughs> we hit the preacher, which wouldn't be stellar, now would it? Hey, listen here. Listen well. All right. <clears throat> so we can get two. Unless we hit the preacher. It's 50 50 at this point. So I've got I've got a chance to get two. Should have been three, but you know how it goes. Fill our hearts with All right. High roll. Never punish. Yes. Got it. Death would be a mercy you <laughs> All right. We're styling. Big styling. I'm going. This is my second account. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, did you play that on the wrong row, my dude? Oh, no, it's, uh... It's Vader that matters. Vader is the one that matters. One who is blind can yet see. Ooh. Isn't that something? Probably should have split the rows a little bit, but this is fine. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to require all your things, sir. Oh yeah. Best looking storm I've charmed up in a long while. I just have to get taller than his reign and hope he doesn't have it. I clicked the wrong thing. Ah. Uh, I can't believe I've done this. I actually. Wow. I'm so stupid, bro. God. Ah. Uh, oh. That. <laughs> Oh man, I can't. I just, for whatever reason, I just picked the first thing that popped up. I can't believe I did that. Oh man. At least we still got truffle and um, uh, leader. This guy should have to spend everything here. He might not even have it, which is the sad part. Even with that Mondo misplay, we might still have it. And he's going Ryogan. No, he's not! But that's wild. Is he going uh, Fukushia? Are you coming up with all these points, my man? Yeah, he doesn't have it. I can't believe I misplayed that that crazy hard and still got it. That's wow. <clears throat> good game. Good, uh, good game. Bad on me. All right, got a little bonus video for you guys here. We're playing dual casting, which is actually where I came up with the deck at. I figured it'd be fun to put one of these games in as well. So, hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into it. Oh no! <clears throat> well, I assume this is gonna be a uh, a real Getty deck. We get to go first. Fantastic! All right, we do have thinning options. Nice. Get that out of here. Get this out of here. Not bad. I just need. Uh, actually, I don't need anything, do I? Take one more. Mulligan. Wow. That's actually perfect. Let's see what my top decks are real quick. There. Yeah. Don't know that. Okay, so Roach is coming out. Yeah, you know, I like it. Um, we're going to go ahead get Berna in hand because she's going to cause a problem later. We'll kick back a... Kick back a Freya. We'll get the crows out. We'll go... Yeah, we should probably get the crows out now. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what I'm playing with second or Nero. I have a Freya's, so we could uh, go for a Preacher, I guess. Ah, Rune Mage, yeah. Rune Mage, which, Rune Mage would be pretty good. Likes of overseas London and Let's go, Snowdrop. Kick back. Kick back these two. 
He might have Scorpion. Giga Scorpion. Ah. Uh, we might as well, right? If he heat waves it, that's a heat wave we don't have to worry about later. Jen's pretty. Ooh. This dance you will never forget. <clears throat> that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. We're going for it. we got left in here none of those options are great now are they we'll put uh we'll put this one so we can get out of the graveyard later Man is an arrogant creature. and we can actually pass now we're set up really good If we wanted to, we could play Rune Mage. We'll see how this goes. He might heat wave snowdrop, and that put me in a bad spot. Oh, really? Again. You know what? I'm curious. Fill our hearts with I want to see how he's getting out of this. We'll go Rune Mage into the uh, Rune Stone. So I've got a feeling he's going to be Arnegad. Oh, that hurts. That kind of hurts, my dude. I don't like it. Let's see if we get something to synergize with that. Preacher? That kind of does it. Well, not really. Take it anyway. Get yourself an axe. Oh, it was damage, huh? There we go. That'll be good. I don't like all my boosted stuffs on one row, but it's fine. Interesting. Ooh. That was a pretty good play right there. Don't really want him to take uh, round control. I don't want to get bled. Nothing needs healed, which is unfortunate. That's where I'll be under the sea. Hmm. Not a lot of damage stuff out there. Take one of these. Reach, reach beyond what the eye see and the ears. I'm kinda out of stuff. He's got round control. Yeah, we might as well let him have it. Uh, we gotta hope he passes. Wants to go for a long round. Suit me fine. Don't know what my drive pass card would be. Ah! 
be mushy. He had a he had a orb, he had a ring. All right. So uh, please pass, my dude. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Uh. I really want. There we go. Maybe s yeah. should pass here, right? Ah, oh, come on, dude. Don't do me like this. Get in the way of me, All right, in that case. Hey, listen here. Listen well. In that case, we just let him know who's boss. And that he's in for a bad time if he proceeds down this path here. Uh, are you sure you want to continue, my dude? Any continuers? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Interesting, interesting. Decisions, decisions. Should probably, uh... Ah, he's going for it. What you got? What you getting there, bud? What's happening here, huh? Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Yeah, in that case, uh, I think we'll go here. We dance <laughs> for young is the night. Are we still in it, my dude? Because my short round will be pretty nasty. Pretty nasty indeed. Okay, double heat wave. Not unreasonable. There is more where that came from. Though. Larissa de Winter herself. Hmm. <laughs> He's also doing the thing. Interesting. Very, very interesting. What do you got there, buddy? It is Arnegad. Fascinating. Okay, that does give me a, a little bit of trouble. Never thought the bead business would involve so much business. A 
Well, that's how we're doing things. We need to go here. We'll get that back. And we'll go here. <laughs> Boom. Thing of beauty, really. Uh huh. Reach, reach beyond what I see in the ears here. Welcome back, Geralt of Rivia. Uh huh. Both the Neros are pretty much dead, but that's fine. We don't need them. Man is an arrogant creature. Equally in heart and mind. Now I could go lippy here, but I don't think I don't think we're gonna do that right now. I think we'll hold off on that. Reach, reach beyond what the eyes see and the ears hear. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five room for one more, perfect. Is this gonna be some kind of uh Yurden play here? Interesting. So we can go one. And three more. We gotta dump the rest of these in the back. Alright. That's that last card there, buddy. Fascinating. Uh, that Anira's dead, but that's fine because we got all this. Just go <laughs> down the line, doing the things. Now he's gonna have. two of these as well. So I wonder, he's probably going to go second Sucrus, Sucrus Arnegad. That's probably a strat. And we're cool with it. We got both of those. What else is in deck there? Oh! Yeah, I think I know what we're doing. So we got two of them, and we're just gonna open up with a humble one of these. I know exactly what we're doing. Man is an arrogant creature. We do need to save some r uh, range row space for a humble lippy. Actually, I could pull a legendary druid, couldn't I? Uh oh. <laughs> What's this, huh? Okay, he's going for another one of them. That's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Yes. A story as old as time, really. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll have room for... A lipino. Again. 
This ought to be pretty uh, brutal. Yeah, what are you getting there, bud? Huh? You getting something? Getting something out of there for me? I hope it's good. Uh oh, you guys can be. Oh no, not can be. Oh man. Ah, oh, Canby is pretty nasty, huh? Well, I uh, the UI's bugged out, but it seems like he went double Canby. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, that's a good play. That was a really good play. What I was going to do was go Lippy. I was going to get one more Getty and then go Lippy and then a Nero into my uh, into my priest. But he decided to go double Camby, which would have worked for him if I didn't have mushy truffle on the board. So good game. I like that play. Well done, sir.